Hey guys, this is Jack Punkington here. It's not super late, but I wanted to make this video. Um, I made one that I was going to upload on a regular schedule, but I changed my mind and decided not to do that because it was kind of short. And I might use it for an emergency video if I forget to do one one week or something. But it was kind of short, and I don't know. I just didn't really feel like it was up to par with the quality that I want to give you guys. Um, today is a life advice video. I actually haven't done one of these in a little while, or at least one in a series. This is uh, Depression Part 3. And um, I know I kind of did one, I think, a little earlier, but I never actually titled it as that, so I'm doing that. Um, I've gone through a lot of stuff recently that have made it hard, you know, I was kind of in like a depress depression funk a little bit before this stuff happened, and that just added on to it. Um, with school and having a full-time job, or having, being a full-time student and working, it's hard to maintain a relationship with my uh, work that is compatible with both my college time and my free time and it's gotten to the point where pretty soon I'm probably gonna have to get a new job which really sucks I mean I do kinda or I do like my job but at the same time I don't but at the same time like I hate the whole job process or finding the job process um, I also recently got dumped again. You know, every time I make a depression video, that's one of the main reasons why. And ironically, I wasn't depressed, or I was depressed before it happened, and I just really made it worse. And it's not like it was an angry breakup or anything. Um, we're both still like cool with each other. She just had different things and. She made a decision that she didn't really want to be with anyone, and that's fine and understandable. And I'm not, like, mad at her or anything. It's life. As long as she's happy, that's what matters to her and to me, too. I would rather her do that and be happy than be miserable with me. It's just the way I am. One good thing did kind of happen, though. <sighs> I got this beautiful, awesome w bundle of win. It's not a Gibson, it's not an Epiphone, but it's also not an Agile. It is a British guitar making company called Tanglewood. If you've heard of them, then you've probably heard of their acoustics because they make very good acoustics. Um, this is made, I believe, in Korea. It's either Korea or Taiwan, or it could be made in Britain, I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, very, if it is made from a Middle Eastern country, it was very good quality. This is the first guitar I actually owned that I liked that was brand new. Um, I traded the Flying V and the Explorer for this. And if you're like, why did you trade two guitars for one? I wanted to make my collection a lot smaller. And, um,. This is what I was looking for, which is another Les Paul or an SG, and I ended up being another Les Paul. Um, it's made out of solid mahogany. There's, it's not chambered. Uh, maple top. Binding all the way around the guitar. Body, neck, and headstock. Clusin like tuners that I plan on replacing with uh, Grover locking tuners. Um, the, those are really weird pickups. It's called electric wire or something like that, or like a le it's like just a weird pickup name. Um, but it's, uh, but its model number is HV58 for both the bridge and uh, neck. Obviously, tunematic bridge and stop bar tailpiece, gold witch top and, and uh, pickup, or I mean pickguard, and it plays awesome. I'll do a review on it later. I really like the headstock because it's kind of like a fake Gibson shape, but it's got really ornate mother of pearl inlays and um just all over here on the headstock. And 
It's it like I said, it's called Tanglewood, so it's a T and it's a W tangled up. And I thought that was really cool. They got it with a gig bag and it's it's perfect. It's set up great, the action's like low and it plays just like butter toast with a si with a cup of coffee in the morning. So that's the good thing that happened to me. Uh, that and doing good on my uh, final exams and getting um, passable and good grades in my classes for my spring semester. So my summer semester starts in two weeks, so I get two weeks of working, and then I have to look for another job, which isn't that bad. It means I get a decent-sized paycheck. So, um, and I've gotten to this point now where I'm I have very very highs and very very lows. It's like I'm almost bipolar, and I know I'm not bipolar, but it's really weird. Um, I'm going for walks a lot more. Um, almost twice to three times a day, depending on the day. Uh, I have have weekends off now, which is nice, but that's also kind of what sucks with my work is that they won't work with me on my schooling. But that's life. I will continue to make YouTube videos. Uh, there have been a couple times where I've decided, where I almost decided to just give up, stop making them, stop doing the channel, because it kind of feels like it's going nowhere. But I'm almost at 30 subscribers, and I remember almost being at 10 subscribers like a month ago, or almost being at like 20 subscribers like a month ago. So this is actually really cool. So I'm excited to almost to hit 30 and. I'm going to keep making content for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to do a video of my Tanglewood. And, like, I'm just going to call it Black Star because it's Black Les Paul and it's beautiful. So, yeah. But I hope you guys like this video. Remember, always try to stay positive even when the world is as low as it can be. It's Jack Punkington signing out. Peace.